Dear students, welcome back to Saraswati Sisukul Gopala Gosal. Here we are going to start a new chapter in Applied English and we have already completed four chapters. Now, say, what is the title of the chapter? Let's be safe. Okay, so we will learn so many things from this chapter. For example, we will learn to listen for and identify necessary information. We will learn to speak about road safety. When you go to the road, when you cross roads, which are the safeties you have to take, safety measures you have to take, everything we will discuss in this chapter. We will learn to differentiate between the V and W sounds. We will learn to talk about things that scare us. Okay, which are the things that scare us? That also we will discuss in this chapter. So let us discuss the first activity of this chapter. Look at this picture. Here we have this activity. Look at the objects on the table. Here we can see in front of this girl there are so many things lying on the table. Circle the words that 8 years old Mina can play with. 8 years Mina can play with these objects. With objects she can use for playing. So you have to circle that object. For example, can she play with knife? No, we should not play with knife. Why? Because it is very sharp. You can cut your hands or any other part of the body. So we should not play with knife. Being an 8 years person. Okay. So 8 years Mina can play with this fox. Fox means kind of school. Okay. So no. Why? Because these are also very sharp. So we cannot play with this fox. We can play with school. So we have to circle on it. Because spoons are not that much sharp. You cannot get hurt by it. So here you can circle it. Kitten. So you can circle it. We can play with that. We can play with ball also. Can we play with scissors? See, two scissors are here. Can we play with that? No. Okay. Why? Because these are also very sharp. If we play with that, we may get hurt. So we cannot circle on it because we cannot play with scissors. Can we play with this glass? Yes. So you have to circle it. Can we play with this glass? Yes. So you can circle it. Can we play with this scale? Yes. It is also very easy thing to use for playing. Because it is not that much sharp. You cannot get hurt by scale. Okay, so you can circle on it also. I hope you understood what you have to do in this activity. The things which you can use for play, you have to circle on it. And the things which you cannot use for play, you have not to do anything. Okay, so let us discuss another activity. So my dear students, here we have one activity in this, we have one audio track. Arun, uh, Tarun wants to play inside the house. He wants to play inside the house. Listen to the conversation between Tarun and his mother. Here Tarun is an 8 year boy and he wants to play in the house, inside the house. So what are the safety measures he has to take? That everything will be there in this audio. So his mother and Taru both are talking to each other. Let us listen to this audio. Taru wants to play inside the house. Listen to the conversation between Taru and his mother. Taru, how many times have I told you not to play in the kitchen? There are a lot of dangerous things here. Sorry, mommy. I thought I could be careful. Even if you try to be careful, there are many things that can hurt you. Like what, mommy? See the fire on the stove? It can burn you. Hmm, yes, I understand. And look at these knives. They are sharp. And if you were to play with one, 
you might hurt yourself. Oh no, I don't want that. See those glass tumblers? You could accidentally drop them and the glass would break and hurt you. I won't touch them, mummy. Why don't you play in the living room? It is much safer there. You can read the newspapers and magazines or look through the albums. You can even take your coloring book and crayons to the living room and draw. Or you could help me water the plants. Yes, mummy. I think I will help you water the plants. Thank you, dear. I hope you will separate it carefully. See here, in this audio, they were talking about the places inside the house where we can play. For example, he wants to play inside the house. So she said, how many times I told you not to play inside the kitchen? In the kitchen, why we cannot play? Because in the kitchen, so many things which are very sad. See, we have guest stove, so that also we can uh, can harm you. Knives, that also you can uh, can be harm. Glasses, if it is broken, that can harm you. But where should we play? We should play in the living room. In the audio, she said, his mother said, which you can play in the living room. You can use newspapers, magazines to play with. Okay. So which are the things that is safe and which are the things that are not safe? So that we have to make a list here. We will listen to the conversation again and complete the following table. Okay, for example, here safe is the table. What are the things safe? In this audio, it was said that magazines, newspapers, living room, living room, these are the safe places and things. Okay, that we have to write here. And not safe, glass, guest house, knives, kitchen. So that everything you can write. Here. So let us listen to this audio again and afterwards we will discuss all the things you have to write here. Listen to the conversation again and complete the following table. Tarun, how many times have I told you not to play in the kitchen? There are a lot of dangerous things here. Sorry mommy, I thought I could be careful. Even if you try to be careful, there are many things that can hurt you. Like what mommy? See the fire on the stove? It can burn you. Hmm, yes, I understand. And look at these knives. They are sharp. And if you were to play with one, you might hurt yourself. Oh no, I don't want that. See those glass tumblers? You could accidentally drop them. And the glass would break and hurt you. I won't touch them, mommy. Why don't you play in the living room? It is much safer there. You can read the newspapers and magazines or look through the albums. You can even take your coloring book and crayons to the living room and draw. Or you could help me water the plants. Yes, mommy. I think I will help you water the plants. Thank you, dear. I hope you listen very carefully. See, if you notice how many things which are not safe, so fire, knives, glasses, other things also which are not safe. For example, playing in the kitchen. So you have to write kitchen, knife, glasses, fire. That everything you can write. And now here, what is the safe? What is safe? So here you can write living room, magazines, newspaper, coloring notebooks, and what are the plants? These are safe things that you can do. You can play with. Okay. This will not harm you at all. So I hope you understood how to complete this activity. Now in this activity we have an audio track. Bonnie and Kiran want to play in Mr. Sarma's garden. Bonnie and Kiran want to play in Mr. Sarma's garden. Listen to Mr. Sarma telling them where they can play. Okay, the garden is of Mr. Selma. Bonnie and Kiran want to play in that garden. So Mr. Selma will guide them where they can play. So let us listen to this audio to understand it in a proper way. Bonnie and Kiran want to play in Mr. Selma's garden. Listen to Mr. 
Mr. Sharma telling them where they can play. Bunny and Kiran, you can play in my garden today, but you must be careful. We will be careful, Mr. Sharma. Make sure that you stay away from the garden tools that are kept near the outhouse. There are sharp and heavy things there, and I don't want you to get hurt. Okay, Mr. Sharma. You can use the garden seats and table when playing. Bring your storybooks with you if you want. That would be nice, Mr. Sharma. You can also play near the bird bath. A few birds come there in the evening. Wow, we will check if any birds come today. Also, don't play too close to the rose bushes. Even though they look pretty, they have sharp forms and you may get hurt. We will stay away from the rose bushes, Mr. Sharma. I hope you understood what was said in that audio. In that audio, Mr. Sharma said, you can play in my garden today, but take care when you play. Why? Because in the orchard, there are so many heavy and sharp things I have kept. Okay? Different types of weapons and gadgets I have kept. So don't use that. Don't go to bushes. Okay? Why? Because it looks beautiful, but it has sharp thorns. Okay? So do not go to that bushes. You can play in the middle of the garden and you can enjoy some birds in that garden. So like that you can speak about your garden, what are the safety things we have to measure when we play in the garden. Okay, when we play in the garden, what we, what things we have to take care of. Okay, so let us discuss another activity. In this activity we have now look at the pictures, picture of Mr. Sarma's garden in which places are Bonnie and Kiran allowed to play. Listen and tick the correct boxes. Here the correct bo boxes are given. See here bushes are there. This table. Weapons are kept as I told you. See here they can stand and watch birds. So what are the things they can do? Where they can play? We will listen to this audio game and we will get to know where they can play. You have to put a tick mark. Correct mark. Where they can play. Okay, so let us listen to this audio to understand where to put correct mark. Now look at the picture of Mr. Sharma's garden. In which places are Bonnie and Kiran allowed to play? Listen and tick the correct boxes. Bunny and Kiran, you can play in my garden today, but you must be careful. We will be careful, Mr. Sharma. Make sure that you stay away from the garden tools that are kept near the outhouse. There are sharp and heavy things there, and I don't want you to get hurt. Okay, Mr. Sharma. You can use the garden seats and table when playing. Bring your storybooks with you if you want. That would be nice, Mr. Sharma. You can also play near the bird bar. A few birds come there in the evening. Wow, we will check if any birds come today. Also, don't play too close to the rose bushes. Even though they look pretty, they have sharp forms and you may get hurt. We will stay away from the rose bushes, Mr. Sharma. Now, if you notice, there are so many things which are told not to play with. For example, here tools are there. Okay, so here weapons are there. So they are told not to use that and not to go that side. So we will put not correct it here. Why? Because it is said no. You can stay here to watch birds coming over here. So here we will put correct mark. Why? Because from here you can observe the birds come every day and they enjoy drinking water. So that was allowed. So you can put a tick mark here. Here we will not put anything. Why? Because these are the bushes and these bushes have sharp thorns. So here also we will not write anything. And here tables you can use. If you listen to it carefully, Tables can be used for play, so here we will put speed mark. So I hope you understood this activity. Now, next activity we have interaction practicing activity. 
10 year old Jasmine is going to visit her grandparents with her brother Robin who is 15. Okay. Their mother is talking to them about how to be safe on the road. Read the conversation. Here, mother, Robin and Jasmine, they are talking to each other about safety measures when to go on the road, when to cross the road, when you are on the road, what types of safety you have to keep. That is told in this conversation. So let us read this conversation. Mother say, Listen, Jasmine and Robin, be careful on the road. Do not off a running bus. Do not off a running bus. When the bus is moving from the road, do not cross the road. Do not off it. Do not cross it. Okay? Let it go first and then you move. Wait till the bus stops completely. If the bus is running, wait till the bus stops completely. If it is running, don't go onto the road. You just wait, let it stop and then you go into the, onto the bus. Robin and Jason says, okay mommy. Mother says, and be careful while crossing the road. While crossing the road, be careful. Cross it only at the zebra crossing. See, these are the safety measures we have to take when we are on the road. Zebra crossing means when all the vehicles stop at one place at red signal, at that time you can cross the road. Okay, so like that we can take safety when we are on the road. Now let us discuss another activity. See. Here also Robin and Jasmine say, Okay mommy, we will be careful. Mother says, I am scared that you will get hurt if you aren't careful. If you not take, if you will not take care properly, you will get hurt. And Robin, take care of your sister. Do not let her walk onto the road while buses are going and you can cross the road when it is zebra crossing. Okay. So, what else would you tell Robin and Jasmine about road safety? What else the mother can say? For groups of three, here it is an activity. Think of some more road safety rules and then act out the rules of the mother, Robin and Jasmine. You can use the pictures below for more ideas. See here, we have this picture. What we should not do, where we should be careful. So here we have certain tips crossing the road. When you cross the road, we have a safety measures we have to take. Look both ways. Look both ways and listen for traffic before crossing. If it is traffic, listen to it carefully. When any vehicle is running, do not cross the road. Always use the zebra crossing for crossing always use the zebra crossing second one around the corner do not run into the roadway do not run into the roadway now third one let us discuss green means vehicles can move red means they have to stop yellow means they have to slow down See here, green means vehicles can move and that time you should not cross the road. So you can advise being a mother to Jasmine and his brother, her brother that do not cross the road when the signal is green. Why? Because at that time vehicles can move easily. When it is red means they have to stop. When the signal is red, Vehicles should be stopped, so at that time you can cross. Yellow means they have to slow down. Yellow means they have to slow down the speed of the vehicle. Watch out for big cars. If big cars are moving from the road, watch out, take care of this. Stay away from vehicles turning the corner. Do not play behind cars that are parked. 
Okay. The places where cars are being parked do not play behind the cars because when the car owner will take that car back, he will not be able to notice you. Okay. So do not play behind the cars. You may get hurt. You may meet. You may meet an any accident. Okay. So do not play behind the car. Never sit your hands outside of vehicle. You can be hit by vehicles going in the opposite direction. Getting off the bus. When you getting off the bus, watch out for cars or motorcycles when getting off. When you are getting off of any vehicle, you have to take care of other vehicles who are moving from that road. Always use sidewalk. Side box, okay? Not on the road. Always we have to side box. So use that only. Do not walk on the road. Use side box only. First box. Wear a seat belt when you are in the car. Wear a seat belt. Always wear a seat belt while sitting in the car. Do not play between cars stationed side by side. Do not play between cars parked side by side. Okay? Because when they will move, you. Can be harmed by that particular car. Use safety gear on bicycle and inline steps. So use bicycle lanes when available. Okay, where what are the places you are given for parking your bicycle? You should park your vehicle, your bicycle at that place only. Now I hope you understood what are the safety measures we have to take when we are on the road okay now let us discuss another activity now you have to work in pairs in this activity here are some road signs this type of signs you must have seen moving from the road okay do you know what do they mean discuss with your partner so we will discuss all these signs you have to discuss with your partner for example let us discuss elderly people so if any elderly in this home is nearby on the way so this kind of sign you will get to see here old people leave so move your vehicles slowly and carefully school crossing okay so here nearby there is a school students also can be on the road so do not run your vehicle very fast Pedestrian crossing. Pedestrian means passerby crossing. Okay, so this place is for walking for passerby only, not for vehicles. So this also can uh, you can be uh, you can have you should have seen on the road. Level crossing without barrier. So this kind of signs you would have seen on the road. Level crossing with your with barrier. Low flying aircraft. Here we cannot move high-tier vehicles because aircraft can be moved from very low height. So this also we can take care of. Cycle route ahead. So sometimes in big cities we have cycle routes only. In this type of these types of roads we cannot move a big. Have your vehicles. Plants crossing, tunnel ahead. So there is a tunnel ahead. So take care of driving your vehicle. Pedestrian in road. Just like that, pedestrian crossing. Risk of grounding. Okay. So here, like this, on the basis of this picture, also you can understand what does it mean. Queues likely means you have to keep your vehicle in queue in proper line. So these are the signs you can use. We must have seen on the road. So what are the meanings of these symbols that we discussed today? I hope you understood all the activities which we have discussed. And in our next live, uh, next offline video, we will discuss the remaining activities. So till then, see you. Bye, everyone.